Hello my friends and welcome. Today's story is about another of Ireland's major pagan festivals. This time I would like to tell you about Beltane, which is the Gaelic May Day festival. Most commonly it is held on the 1st of May, and it is about halfway between the spring equinox and summer solstice. It was, and still is widely observed throughout Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. It is one of the four Gaelic seasonal festivals, along with Samhain, Imbolc, and Lunasa. Beltane is mentioned in some of the earliest Irish literature, and is associated with important events in Irish mythology. Also known as the first of summer, it was when cattle were driven out to the fresh pastures. Cattle were the most important possession back in Old Ireland. It was the currency of the time, therefore people's lives revolved around their cattle. Rituals were performed to protect the cattle, crops and people, and to encourage growth. Special bonfires were kindled, and their flames, smoke, and ashes, were deemed to have protective powers. The people and their cattle would walk around or between bonfires, and sometimes leap over the flames or embers. All household fires would be doused and then relit from the Beltane bonfire. These gatherings would be accompanied by a feast, and some of the food and drink would be offered to the Aossi, who were a supernatural race of people in Celtic mythology. Doors, windows, fires, and livestock, would be decorated with yellow mayflowers. In parts of Ireland, people would make a may bush. This was typically a thorn bush or branch, decorated with flowers, ribbons, bright shells and rush lights. Holy wells were also visited, while Beltane Dew was thought to bring beauty and maintain youthfulness. Many of these customs were part of May Day or Midsummer festivals in parts of Britain, like Scotland and Wales, and also throughout Europe. According to 17th century historian Geoffrey Keating, there was a great gathering at the hill of Ishnock, where a sacrifice was made to a god named Beale. Two bonfires would be lit in every district of Ireland, and cattle would be driven between them to protect them from disease. Yellow flowers such as primrose, rowan, hawthorn, gorse, hazel, and marigold flowers were strewn at the doors and windows and sometimes they were made into bouquets or garlands and fastened to them. They would also be fastened to cows and equipment for milking and butter making. It is likely that such flowers were used because they evoked fire. The May bush had a widespread popularity in most parts of Ireland until the early 20th century. Although the tradition isn't as common these days, you can still see the May bush being celebrated in the more rural parts of the country. Sometimes a May bush would be paraded through the town. Gold and silver hurling balls would be hung on these May bushes and handed out to children, or given to the winners of a hurling match. In Dublin and Belfast, May bushes were brought into town from the countryside and decorated by the whole neighborhood. Each neighborhood vied for the most handsome tree, and sometimes, residents of one would try to steal the May bush of another. This led to the May bush being outlawed in Victorian times. In some places, it was customary to dance around the May bush, and at the end of the festivities it may be burnt in the bonfire. Thorn trees were seen as special trees, and the custom of decorating a May bush or tree was found in many parts of Europe. Fraser believes that such customs are a relic of tree worship and rites. The intention of these customs is to bring home to the village, and to each house, the blessings which the tree spirit has in its power to bestow. Beltane was the only time when cutting thorn trees was allowed. The practice of bedecking a may bush with flowers, ribbons, garlands and bright shells is found among the Gaelic diaspora, most notably in Newfoundland, and also in some Easter traditions on the east coast of the United States. Beltane is also mentioned in medieval Scottish literature. An early reference is found in the poem, Beblet of the Play, contained in the Maitland Manuscripts a 15th and 16th century Scots poetry, which describes the celebration in the town of Peebles. From the late 18th to the mid-20th century, 
Many accounts of Beltane customs were recorded by folklorists and other writers. For example John Jameson, in his Etymological Dictionary of the Scottish Language, 1808, describes some of the Beltane customs which persisted in the 18th and early 19th centuries in parts of Scotland, which he noted were beginning to die out. In the 19th century, folklorist Alexander Carmichael, collected the Gaelic song and Bunak or Bealton, the Beltane blessing, which he heard from a crofter in South Uist, part of the Outer Hebridean archipelago. The 1970 recording Rider White Swan, written and performed by Mark Bolan and his band T-Rex, contains the line, Rider White Swan like the people of the Beltane. Beltane celebrations had largely died out by the mid-20th century, although a few of its customs continued and in some places it has been revived as a cultural event. Since the late 20th century, Celtic pagans and Wiccans have observed Beltane as a religious holiday. We Wiccans use the name Beltane for our May Day celebrations. It is one of the yearly Sabbaths of the Wheel of the Year following Astara and preceding Midsummer. Unlike Celtic Reconstructionism, Wiccan is syncretic and melds practices from many different cultures. In general, the Wiccan Beltane is more akin to the Germanic May Day festival, both in its significance, focusing on fertility, and its rituals, such as Maypole dancing. Some Wiccans enact a ritual union of the May Lord and May Lady. There are a number of place names in Ireland containing the word Beltane, indicating places where festivities were once held. It is often anglicised as Beltany. There are three Beltanies in Donegal, including the Beltany Stone Circle. There are also two other stone circles of the same name, in County Tyrone. In County Armagh, there is a place called Tamaveldone, which translated means, the Beltane Field. Lispelting. The Beltane Ring Fort, is in County Tipperary, while Glashina Baltina, the Beltane Stream, is the name of a stream joining the River Gailey, which is in County Limerick. And that my friends is the story of Beltane. I hope that those of you who also celebrate have a good Beltane this year. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.